What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It's Tamiko of Chris and Tamiko Talk About. Today is Sunday, June the 19th, 2011. And first of all, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, to all the moms that are holding down both roles. Happy Father's Day to my father, to my stepfather in love, to my uncles, to my cousins, to all the dads out there. Today's your day. I hope you got something other than ties and socks and bad cologne. <laughs> um, you may be wondering where my my other half, my, my equal half is. And Mr. Hines is working in Vegas on a show. He's a stage manager, as many of you know. So I thought I'd just pop on and say hi today since it's been a little bit since we posted a video. But he will be back soon. And we will be back on here together being silly as we always are. But I just had to come on because I am so excited about my news. Dun, 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 dun. So those of you that have been following me on Facebook or Twitter, and if you aren't, you need to be, I got cast as a lead in a movie. Thank you, Troy Beyer. Um, as of about a week ago, I was officially cast as one of the leads in the upcoming feature film called X Free. That's E-X-F-R-E-E, -E, written and directed by Miss Troy Beyer herself, who has also done um, BAPS and Love Don't Cost a Thing, and you all remember her as an actress. She was uh, Diane Carroll's daughter on Dynasty, and she's just an amazing woman. And I'm so thankful that she has trusted me to help bring her vision to life. I am one of six of an amazing cast, and I want to give a shout out, hello, and what's up to the rest of my castmates, Sherry Headley, Daphne Duplay, Leon, Darren DeWitt Henson, and my leading man, Chris Bailey. Um, I'm looking forward to working with all of you guys. We're going to have a blast. And um, yeah, the movie comes out in February of 2000. Uh, 2012 and it's a comedy dramedy and I promise you it's nothing like you've ever seen I just the writing and it's just funny and it's touching and it's about relationships and um, you guys are gonna love it so we start shooting this week so hopefully I'll be able to share from set some of the fun times that we're having and um, this movie couldn't have come at a better time for me because my character is very um, interesting to say the least and where I am in my life right now as far as Tamiko the woman is concerned is that I am fully formed fully expressed fully who I am and this role requires me to be that so I think it's just beautiful timing that I get to play who I am really and um, I'm so excited about it and I really really want to encourage all of you everybody who can see me hear me read what I'm writing typing step into your life like really really just step in if you are miserable if you are unhappy with career relationship circumstance change it and yes it is as simple as that it is as simple as choosing to no longer accept that, allow that, be that. Um, I know that circumstances, you know, family upbringing, uh, money, financial needs, uh, you know, comfort zones, all can sometimes keep us stuck and in a place in life that we just kind of coast through and we get used to and we go, oh, well, this is the best that I can have. That's not true at all. And I'm take, talking from personal experience. I chose to no longer live in a way that wasn't just making me excited, happy, fully expressed, fully formed. And it's a choice. It really is a choice, guys and gals. I'm not even kidding. It's deep. But you have to sit there and go, okay, this is not the way that I know my life should be, can be. Why is it this way? And what do I need to do to change it? Circumstances don't have to change. You could be, to be extreme, living in a box, but if, you're in a, if your inside is happy and you're happy with who you are, the circumstances around you have no bearing on that. So really, it all falls back on my this terminology that I love about being self-defined. We all create who we are. Nobody, no one, no circumstance can define us unless we allow them to. So if somebody calls you a name or describes you in a way that doesn't fit you, doesn't suit you, that doesn't speak to you, 
Don't accept it. Go. I always say, no, thank you. I decline that. Well, Tamiko, you're so, no, thank you. I decline that if it's not who I say that I am. Don't give them the paintbrush to paint on your canvas. Only you have that paintbrush. I say that over and over again. So I'm going to stop preaching because I just get so excited and passionate about it. And because I'm living it right now and I'm experiencing it and I know how good it feels, I want everybody to feel this way. Really, 43, cute as can be, living my life. Don't know what I'm going to be doing next week, but I know that whatever I'll be doing, well, I know what I'll be doing. I'll be shooting a movie. But in addition to that, whatever I'm doing, whoever I'm being is me. I call the shots. Shot caller from the Bronx. So that's it, guys and gals. Um, I say guys and gals, and I know that's kind of corny, but whatever, I'm corny sometimes. Uh, thanks for letting me share with you. I hope to be able to share with you the happy times we're having on the film and um, just be self-defined. That's all. I'm going to leave you with that. Be self-defined. We'll see you soon. Bye.